Walls quickly going up in the hillside morning neighborhood of Fort Worth. Master bedroom is right here. And with each nail that goes in, this teacher, a single working mom, Andrea Mitchell, lets herself dream just a little bit more. I can't wait to decorate. I can't wait to make a breakfast nook. By all accounts, Mitchell did everything right. Went to college, got a job, put in work. But her American dream was still out of reach. It was kind of deflating to know that I go to work five days a week, 40 hours, making money, paying all my bills, um, good credit, everything, and I still couldn't afford a house. That's where Susan DeVault and her mostly female team of volunteers come in. But yes, you're absolutely, women can be in the trades. This isn't your ordinary habitat build. Today is National Women's Day. For these women, that celebration comes in the form of hard work. I can see it's becoming a home for someone. I can see where the bedrooms are going to be and the bathrooms are going to be and, and I can imagine this family living in this home. Women who are also watching the dream come to life. Duvall didn't learn to swing a hammer until she was in her 60s. Today she's leading this army of workers. But I didn't think that I would be getting a house at 27. I thought, you know, I'll have to wait a little bit, wait until I was married. Soon she'll have that home, one built by women for women. In Fort Worth, I'm Sebastian Robertson. Improving no job.